You're watching Countdown to First 100 Days in Office. A few hours into President Tinubu's administration, it's been greeted by a return of queues to the fuel stations. Many petrol stations across the country shut down operations yesterday after he said subsidy on the product was gone. Retail stations in Lagos, Abuja, Wari, and other major cities also hiked the prices of the product, taking motorists and other Nigerians by surprise. President Tinubu has been vocal about his intention to remove fuel subsidy even before elections. According to him, it is not sustainable that Nigeria continues to subsidize fuel consumption for Cameroon, Niger, and Benin Republic. A fresh subsidy. Unfortunately, the budget that I've glimpsed before I asked him of it, and what I've had is that no provision is there for fair subsidy. The fair subsidy is gone. Subsidy can no longer justify its ever increasing force and the weak. President Bola Tinubu there, subsidy is gone. Let's bring in the president of the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, Chinedu Okorongwo. Thank you for joining us on the program. How do you react to the president's declaration in his very first inaugural speech that fuel subsidy is gone? Thank you for having me. Um, I want to state that um, this is what we have expected, that the new government coming in will uh, embrace total removal of uh, subsidy in the downstream sector of uh, oil and gas. That way, it will open up the market and also create a lot of enabling. The only challenge we have is that uh, some of my members who have paid him money prior to this time, let them just give them the product so that uh, they will still be in business. They have paid the money. Some have paid over two months, one month, and thereabout. For us, we went to National Assembly and we presented our position, and our position is very clear that subsidy continue allowing this subsidy will not allow the economy to grow other areas that need I CEO, get that. We are happy and uh, believing that uh, this removal will also help the country to introduce other energy, like CNG, other energies that we need to also look at the country with enormous carbon burning and wasting it every day. We cannot begin to see how we incorporate it into our energy. That way, people might not even feel the pain of uh, this removal. I believe uh, this will open up a lot of uh, areas in energy mix moving forward. Mm -hmm. All right, Mr. Koronko. Okay. Well, this issue, of course, is uppermost on the minds and plans of the new administration because even the Vice President Kashim Shetima today spoke about fuel subsidy. Let's quickly bring that uh, up now. The truth of the matter is that we either get rid of the fuel subsidy or the fuel subsidy gets rid of the Nigerian nation. In 2022, we spent $10 billion dollars subsidizing the ostentatious lifestyle of the upper class of the society because you and I benefit 90% from the oil subsidy. The poor 40% of Nigerians benefit very little from the fuel subsidy. And we know the consequences of unveiling a masquerade 
will get peers opposition from those benefiting from the oil scam, or subsidy scam. But where there is the will, there is the way. Vice President Kashim Shatima there. Let me come back to you, Mr. Okoronkwo. You have heard also the Vice President talk about the fact that um, subsidy was no longer sustainable. But let's talk about the attitude of some of your members who, on hearing this declaration, began hoarding fuel, even though they are selling old stock. What do you have to say to that? Well, I think um, it's all about... Uh apprehension that they might not get another chance of uh, getting to meet up with the new regime. But I think uh, that fear has been allayed by the managing director of uh, an NPC, Mele Kari. Even if we have removed, we have some days. For me, you know, there shouldn't be panic. There shouldn't be anything to upset the process. Uh, we are aware that it will happen. Happening is not why anybody will uh, increase price. I am not in support of that. But I think uh, with the assurances of uh, the group managing director of an NPC, uh, people will begin to adhere to the price that is still there. Gradually, all these things will be fixed. In. Right, it's been great speaking with you, President, Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, Chinedu Okoronkwo. Thank you for talking to us on the program. Well, that's it today on the program. Counts down to the first 100 days in office. I am Abosedi. I didn't know I did me. Hi. Do solemnly swear.